Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Farscape, this is season 3. This is episode number 16. This episode is called Revenge and Angel. So in the last episode we saw that the John on Talon was expo to, exposed to radiation and it was fatal and he died. Which was a horrible thing to see because we saw how his relationship, this John's relationship with Aaron, had really started to go somewhere and they were getting really close and everything was going really well and then this then goes and happens. All because Fellow had sided with these people who wanted basically the wormhole technology that she was able to develop from when she last met John and got some information from him. So that went against him and he had to like try and defuse this device that ancient Jack had created but it just it just completely didn't work and totally backfired on John and then now John ends up getting this radiation and just dying so I've got no idea how, how we're going to even find Aaron in this episode that's even if we're on Tal in this episode because we do seem to jump back and forth between the two ships I'm just going to get straight on into this let's go I have no wife no son no home oh. nothing I have been forced to Dark. manufacture Dark. distractions in shit. order to live that ship Look. is all no. I it's, have it's doing something Oh god. Yes, that's what he was trying to tell you. Is that crastic ship still frilling with us? Yes. Dargo Field's Crichton's interference must have triggered a security self-destruct sequence. Can he stop it? When we last spoke, Dargo was rather agitated. I didn't try and kill him, uh, he slipped. You're pathetic. You really are oh, all gonna die. <laughs> We really need to sort his temper out. Cardago, your quilter blade. So when's this ship gonna blow? Unknown. Moya and I have no active senses in the transport. Yeah, yeah, we get the idea. What, what do we do? Reactivate the DRDs. They're the only ones who can rewire Moya. Help Dargo on the transport hangar. When he's sick of you, find me. Jewel does kind of get awe. Sent from person to person for jobs, doesn't she? You know what's happening? Yeah. I'm dying. Let's see what's left in the fuel tank. Go away and let me do it. Is this because of what happened to Tal and John? Don't find a reason to live? I got plenty of reasons. Then give me the Letterman list. Earth, Aaron. dad, pizza, sex, cold beer, fast car, sex, Aaron. <laughs> None of that crap will get the job done, John. You die. These two together are brilliant. Drag me with you. You want some advice? No. Revenge. Revenge. <laughs> yes. Love is transient. Famous. And guess who Aaron loves right now? He wins. You Ooh. lose. Thank you for coming. Go away. Revenge is the strongest emotion, Go John. Go away. Gather, put Go. you here. Live to even the Goodbye, score. Goodbye, Scorpion. Bye-bye. Your mind is no longer strong enough to control my comings and goings. Is that a challenge? Oh. How did you? Oh my god. Why has he got corks in his ears? Oh my god. Wasted energy, John. Revenge is deep within your psyche. A core vestige from your earliest evolution. Unleash it now! No. Whatever Crichton did, he disabled the sequence of commands I was building up. I mean, what if it wasn't Crichton? What if something's just happened? What if, I've no, I think it was Dargo. Four times. No problems. He did it. Oh! Whoa! You saw him! How did that work? He's gonna hit the wall. Yo, Harvey, front and center, dude. <laughs> oh, pilot was right, you were wrong. Pilot was right, you were wrong. Pilot's always I right. Keep running, nothing can hurt you. Nothing can hurt you. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Spider. You can only run for so long, John. 
on. Even in the childlike safety of your cartoon, my way will sustain you. Mother's milk. That's how Real. Why is he straddling him? Revenge. This is just weird. John! Take revenge, John! Our analysis of that ship's energy signature indicates it will explode in just under an arm. Brilliant. Under an arm? An estimate only. Can you do something? We will not be able to expel that ship. Oh. So we're all going to die? Moya and myself, certainly. However, oh. I may have a way to save you. Is an escape pod? Food, liquids, and a long range frequency modulator to Tier 16's Treblin side pressure hatchway. You should be able to survive a few solar days prior to hypothermia. Oh. If I jettison it. Oh, my. Go. I think it may have been me. Yes. I was in here earlier. I didn't touch anything. I was just here. I found this in the control. Your hair. That's enough. She just mauls a lot, doesn't I she? I didn't mean to cause any of it. Well, what did you mean? I know that I can be difficult. Oh, yes. That no one wants to spend time with me. You're someone who I like. Oh. And I know that since the problems with your son and Chiana, that you've preferred to be alone. In here. Oh. I just thought, if this is so important to you, maybe if I learn a little about it. Oh, they'd have something in common. We might have something to talk about. <clears throat> wow. You look great. Huh. Is this the best you could do? I, uh, I miss you. Obviously. Where are my clothes? <laughs> On talent, you and that other guy, the other me, you're not, uh... Don't do it to yourself, John. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Before you go, you fix this. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> now, what are you going to do about Dalgo? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like... to him, not really sure what to say. Any advice? <laughs> They're all just wanting to help. speak to Dalgo. Dalgo. Get things sorted out. Dalgo, could you just leave young Johnny alone, please? Um. He's first. No. I do like that Jude is trying to make an effort to make friends. Dago, you have to tell me. Active self destruct code can be voided. One of three uh, pre predetermined uh, uh, artifacts. Okay. Singular to Lux and Heritage. What? What? What does it want? Yeah. Don't you get it, Dargo? Chiana was right. I can always outsmart you. You did not paint a wormhole! You forgot to make your swirl. Bye-bye. Oh. This little spaceman's going home. Lock up the women and hide the fried chicken. Did you think you could make up all the rules? Shit. Keep hiding behind the cartoon forever. Oh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our final respects and to say farewell to our dear friend, Commander John Crichton. Reckless and probably brain dead before I met him. Oh my god. Alas, his death. It's the astronaut keeps getting, keeps making me chuckle.
Even I don't know if it's too late. I love Aaron. That should be enough. Is that today? Was it that simple? This is kind of like the sound you hear before you die. Well, like silence? Or after. You call someone? <laughs> what went through your mind? What did you see? Weirdness. Cartoons. Buddy, that would be impossible for me to explain to you. <laughs> Farscape is like so odd and bizarre sometimes, but fabulously so. This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen them do. It was so crazy seeing how Jago's got you know, this ship and Jewel was in there kind of playing around, messing about because she kind of feels like he's probably her closest friend in here. Although they're not all like overly friendly with Jewel, she obviously thinks that there's something in Dago that she can relate to and she wanted to spend time in the ship so that she had common ground so that they could have conversations. And that was really sweet because it shows that she actually is trying to make friends with at least Dago anyway. She probably wants to feel involved because these guys are so close and obviously they were so close with Zan. And and then Jules came into the picture and she doesn't really have anybody aboard Moya that she can kind of call a friend. So it was nice to see that she was trying to make that effort, even though it did backfire. Dago then like basically knocking out John and putting him in a coma for John to then go through this weird, weird dreamlike state whilst possibly dying with Harvey wanting nothing but revenge against Dago for the accident and then John like living this crazy cartoon life where there's wormholes and Aaron and it was just bizarre but knowing that John has came to the realisation that he loves Aaron just makes me panic for the future episodes because I'm thinking he has no idea what Aaron's gone through, Aaron has no idea what's going on on Moya, those two are going to come together I guess at some point and it's going to be the most awkward thing because John's going to be probably really excited to see her we don't even know what state Aaron's going to be in after last episode so I'm like actually quite scared to see how this is going to unfold I'm gonna go watch the next one I will see you guys later so thank you